is I'd have to say that I'd want to do that with my boyfriend. <laughs> Who would I like to most snuggle up to on the couch to play Fable 2 Co-op? Um, I'd have to say my wife. Oh God. Who do I know who wants to play games? Or girlfriend. My name's Louise Copley. Um, I'm the executive producer for the Fable 2 team. My name's Neil Griffiths. Um, I am the multiplayer programmer on Fable 2. My name's Alan Wright. Um, my role on Fable 2 is uh, as a coder and I've been assigned the task of implementing the, um, the spells. The magic system in Fable 2 is similar to Fable 1 in you get a range of spells for you to choose when to cast. We've got the, uh, the good old-fashioned staples, like uh, there's a fire-based spell, there's a, a lightning-based spell. We've effectively done away with a spell menu so that um, the longer you hold the button, one of a number of spells can be chosen that you've already pre-set up. For every type of spell, there's two versions of it. There's a, an area effect, which is um, where it affects enemies based around your current location in a, in a radial form, or there's a targeted cast, and it all depends on whether you actually point the left joystick at a target or not. I think my favorite spell currently is the lightning spell. As the enemy is being electrocuted, um, occasionally he'll flash in and out of, his, uh, out of a skeleton model in good old-fashioned cartoon style. At the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, Peter Molyneux took to the stage during the Microsoft keynote speech. So I come out and say, I'm going to talk about Fable 2 features. When I say that, then we start off with the first pub game demo. It's exciting. It's a big empty room. Somehow that's more comfortable than a big full room. That's what we want. You're going to make the lion head death most of the video. I'm about to defend freedom. <laughs> Where's my dog? I want my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Fable 2 needs like 10% more dog and I'll be happy. <laughs> In front of an excited audience, Peter Molyneux announced and showed a big new feature of Fable 2, namely offline multiplayer, or the chance to play co-op with someone else. For me, couch co-op is so important because you playing games alone these days, it, it, it's not the same as it was. You, you don't just lock yourself in a room anymore. Playing with someone, like going to a museum with someone or walking around a town with someone or going to see the cinema with someone, is experiencing something together. Couch co-op works where the second person picks up the second controller, they're going to hit start. Um, they can select what character they want to play, which is based around the hero, although if you want to, you can choose someone completely opposed to that. I think it just changes the whole experience because you're involving someone else and you're, you've got companions on your adventure, which I think really adds to the depth of the experience. It's all about making you feel more of the drama. Now, saying that, the problem that always comes is getting two people in the room together at the same time all the time. And that's what I love about Fable 2, is that if your friend's not around, you can still carry on playing. As soon as they walk in the room, you throw them the controller and you carry on playing. The hero will choose how much to split certain things, such as gold, experience, so on, with the second person. The second person can then take that shared experience, gold, back to their game. And so they're always increasing their own hero back in their own world. I don't like working for other people, generally, unless I'm paid very well. So I will be the henchman, but you have to give me more than 95% of all the gold earned. It's that simple. <laughs> <laughs>